Hey guys, it's at TCAT, and today we're going to be taking a look at Huion Sketch, a mobile drawing app with one pretty cool trick up its sleeve. Let's take a look. Alright, so right off the bat, Huion Sketch is very similar to most other drawing apps currently on the market. It's got a nice minimalist design to it, which really lends focus to the drawing canvas. Tucked neatly to the side are two sliders that allow you to control both brush size and opacity on the fly. There's a variety of brushes to choose from. All of your basics are there, including pencil, pen, airbrush, paintbrush, ink, and even a few with texture. This app also has most of the other features you've come to expect from mobile drawing apps, including layers, color wheel, eraser, a hand tool, and even lasso and shape tools. Perhaps one feature that is not quite as common is the ability to choose your exact canvas size, which I really appreciate. Many other mobile drawing apps limit you to the resolution of your screen, or make you choose from preset ratios that may not suit your needs. Now I want to get into perhaps what is the best feature of this app, but first I want to thank Nazo Plays for bringing this feature to my attention. Selecting My Device from the app settings will bring up a menu and if you are using a Huion tablet, you will actually be able to customize the hotkeys of the tablet, including the ones on the pen. However, for whatever reason, the dial is not recognized. Despite that fact, this feature gives Huion Sketch a huge advantage over other mobile drawing apps, if you're using a compatible Huion graphics tablet. Having use of the hotkeys adds a lot of functionality and streamlines the creative process. And I honestly gotta say, it's pretty nice not to have to constantly touch the screen while I'm drawing. Alright, so I can't really call this a review unless we talk about some of the things that honestly they can really do better. First let's talk about pressure sensitivity, and that's probably the most important one for me. With most of the brushes, it's almost non-existent, and that's really surprising because this is Huion's drawing app. I mean it's made specifically for their own drawing tablets, which have great pressure sensitivity, especially when using them on PC. Looking at the app settings, you'll find that there is oddly no adjustments for sensitivity. However, there is just a on and off toggle for a cursor, which with certain devices will really come in handy. But truthfully, this is a far cry from what's available in some of the other apps like Adobe Sketch that has full control over tilt functions, velocity, flow, and sensitivity. So hopefully that's something that they add in the future. Now, pressure sensitivity isn't something that's completely absent from this app, but where it does exist, it's really sensitive. I mean, just minor adjustments to the pressure on the brush makes huge jumps up and down in the size. Another thing I noticed was that with most brushes, but especially the textured ones, they can be really laggy and jittery. This was surprising both because of the minimalist feel to the app, but also my Samsung Note 8 has pretty good processing power. Now, it could be because the particular graphics tablet I'm using is wireless, so that could be adding to some of this lag and jitter, but it still surprises me. Alright, so overall I feel like the Huion Sketch app is actually pretty solid. There's definitely some quirks, and I think Huion has a lot of room for improvement with this app. However, the fact that it makes use of their hotkeys on their applicable devices, I'd say this allows Huion to rank pretty high for those who use one of those devices. So definitely check it out and let me know what you think in the comments. I want to thank Nazo Plays again for suggesting this to me, and until next time, I'm that TCAT, and I will catch you guys later.